Um, good morning. Working in Teams. So here I am in my Teams and I am going to join or create a team. I'm going to create a team that is like a class team for practice. Okay, and I'm going to call this uh, COVID-19. Okay, in this team, I am just going to put a couple of teachers for now. Um, for practice, so I have chosen my members. I'm going to add those. I'm not going to put any students for the moment. Um, and I'm going to create my team. Okay, so this team is just a place to practice and show things about um, using Teams. So this is the message board where I will put information. Um, here in files, I may upload a copy of this video or some other files. Uh, to have a look at. So I'm going to create a new folder for videos as to have one folder in here. And then here in the class notebook, I am going to go through the steps of setting up my class notebook, blank notebook. So this is the default space that they give us. Um, so I'll leave those in for now. For students, I just really have class notes and homework, I think is enough for now. And then it's going to get the class notebook ready. Now, I think I may need to add a student in in order to see that part of the notebook when it comes to it. But for now, I just leave it at. So the class notebook opens up here in Teams. And when I click on that arrow over, I see the spaces that have been created. Now it gives you a lot of information in what the collaboration space is for, the content library and what they're used for. Now, if there were students, they would appear down here. So at the moment, there are no students in this team. So normally when I'm using my OneNote, I don't work in here. I open it up in the app. Okay. So I'm going to do that now. So now this is where my notebook has been set up. It has taken a number of minutes that I pause. So don't be concerned if it takes a while and you get this and you have to restart etc don't worry about that so in the collaboration space because that opened up i'll just show you that and uh, so the idea of the collaboration space is that you can do work they can do work and i have used it say for my fifth years when we're doing a class task uh, with a section for where they're each going to answer but probably content library is what i use more um, and by adding a page in the content library or adding a section up here, uh, they will get a new chapter, let's say. And um, I may put the page of the book in here. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. So if I have the book open and my snipping tool, yeah. shh, um, I can take a little snip of the page and then put that in to my notebook. So for example, this is what I want to have. Say I also want to have the PowerPoint in here. I'm going to insert a document. Okay. Um, Attach a file, insert, attach a file, and I'm going to find that PowerPoint. A 
and insert that. I have the option to attach it or to insert the actual PowerPoint slides. And so here now I have a page of a book and then I also have the PowerPoint slides. <clears throat> so if I was showing students on um, a video meeting, I could be going through my slides here or I can record it as I am now and let them have a look at it afterwards. So that's one sample of um, a page in the content library. Now I'm going to go into a different notebook here because I know where I have students and where I have been working with them just to show you. So for example, here is uh, my third year business and I've set up a section for each Easter revision. I've put in the alternative mock that we could have used here for them to have a look at and given them some notes on the exam action verbs to go over and then some other revision questions from the different areas of the course. So that's all work for them to have a look at over the break. And um, so if I wanted to put this now into each of their pages, I could do that. Um, but first, very briefly, I'm going to show you one student's work. So I'm going to go down to Roisin's pages here. So this is her section of the book and these are all homework that I have assigned and she has done. So they have done a combination of different things and you can see here she typed and I corrected there. In here she typed into a section but she also put in a picture from her workbook and I added in a sticker and um, that was correct as far as I remember. For some of them I had put in a video there. So here's a picture from her notebook. So that's an example of what the homework is coming in looking like and this is in their section. <laughs> so with some of these pages I have automatically populated into their homework spaces and I'll show you how to do that in one sec. So back in my content library it's using the class notebook tab that I would distribute work. But I think that might be enough for now in the notebook. So I'll go back to my team. So my COVID-19 team and um, the general section for posts that I can put information in the files where I could upload files for people to look at and share. And the folder I create in there was called videos and it just takes a minute for it to appear and the class notebook then where students would normally access from here. That's it for the moment.